Another one of those beasts. There are more of the beasts. for you, filthy beast.
sure, why not? Gotta stay out of it. Ah, a new man. You've come in the nick of time. Yes, what are you doing here? I'm watching the slaves. But with these crappy conditions, it's no fun, oh, let me right. tell you. There's always something new. Supply problems, slaves run away, and I don't know what all. Damn it all! I just want some peace. Not like that, I'll never get anywhere. Do you need help? These That's emaciated figures all look the same to me. I can't make heads or tails of it anymore. You should take a closer look at the boys and tell me who needs to be exchanged. It's still like exchanged? Like what do you mean? We can't have the poor dogs digging in the temple all the time. They need a break, too. So we exchange the slaves with the farms once a week. The work out there is a bit easier. The boys recover really well. I'll find you a slave. Fine. But don't take too long. You ex... That's all we need. Can't you see I'm busy? I need your help with a really big reptile back there. Ha! <laughs> you weakling! Where is the beast? A few yards down the south road. Out of my way. Let a master deal with it. What's wrong? Can you hunt? I am an orc! Of course I can hunt. Well, I don't know. I'll prove it to you, you greenhorn. All right. I saw a couple of big reptiles down the south road. I'll get them. Just watch me, Mora. Your boss is looking for you. What does he want this time? No idea. Ask him yourself. Where is he then? He's waiting for you away down the south road. All right, I'm going. I'll chop you to pieces! Die! Ugh. 
We showed him. Am I good or am I good? What do you want, Mora? One of your slaves ran away. What? Where? Down the road, to the south. I'll take care of it right away. This fight won't take long. I'll tear you apart. Die! You showed him. I've still got it. The slave camp guards are gone. Great. So the right time to storm the city has almost come. Carry on like that, mate. That you can use a few gold coins, right? Who is your spy in Montera? He will reveal himself to you when you tell him our password. The password is Long Live Okara. Really? Just don't ask. It wasn't my idea. I see. Tell me more about Okara. Okara is our rebel headquarters. It is located north of Montera. You should drop by there sometime. We can always use people like you. come in the nick of time what are you doing here I'm watching the slaves but with these crappy conditions it's no fun let me tell you there's always something new supply problems slaves run away and I don't know what all damn it all I just want some peace do you need help these emaciated figures all look the same to me I can't make heads or tails of it anymore you should Ex Wait. I'm working my ass off here. I hope my relief gets here soon. What's a short break worth to you? Oh, man. I'll give you everything I have if you get me out of here. All right. What have you got? I found this artifact here. The strange chalice. I would let you have that. Hmm. You say you found a chalice? A fire chalice, maybe? What do I know? I don't understand these things, pal. You can take a break. Go to the stockyard. Thanks, friend. I'm already on my way. Wait a moment. You forgot something. Oh, yeah. Here's the chalice I found. Have a nice day, friend. When is the relief finally coming? I'm going crazy here. What will you give me if I get you out of here? But I don't have anything. What could I give you? Tell me something about your overseer. Bradley. Bradley does his own sleazy business here in the camp. Every slave here wants to get out to the farms. Nobody wants to work in here. Bradley has this list. If you're at the top of Bradley's list, you get to go to the farms for a while. That damn swine makes us pay to move to the top of his list. 
I see. Today is your lucky day. You can go to the stockyard. Thanks, my friend. I couldn't stand it here much longer. Are you lost? I suppose the orc guards by the castle gate don't stand around there for no reason. Certainly not. Don't even think of simply stumbling into the castle yard. The orcs will attack anyone they don't know in the inner ward of the castle. What does that mean? It means that you have to render outstanding services to the city before they accept you. Only then can you move freely among them and talk to their leaders. Hmm. This sounds familiar. Who are you? My name is Merrick. I'm the leader and trainer of the mercenaries in Montera. If you cause any trouble here, I will be held responsible, and that would be very bad for you. Get it? Have you got anything for me to do? There's always work for a mercenary here in Montera, but I have a very special task for you. They barely know your face in town. That's a huge advantage for you. How come? I can use you against my own people, and they won't make the connection. You distrust your own people? <laughs> Why would that surprise you? Take a look around. Every one of these nitwits thinks of nothing but his own profit. If we cooperated with the orcs a bit more, we'd all be doing better in Mertana. I see. You want me to work as your spy. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you feel like you're too good for a job like that? I don't think you've got a choice, really. Fine. I'll work for you. Wise decision. Then let's not waste any time. Fine. What exactly should I do as your spy? Lately, there's been an increasing number of strange incidents in Montera and on the farms. Goods are stolen, slaves disappear, farms are raided, and so on. All of this stinks to high heaven of rebels and treason. I want you to find out who among my people is reliable and who isn't. You'll be well rewarded with gold and notoriety, and I will teach you how to fight. I'll be in my hut by the western entrance to the city. About the mercenaries, one of your boys is shirking work. Let me guess. It's Trano again, right? This is the last time. Go tell him I'm cutting his pay. Bradley's fleecing the slaves. I know. The slaves will pay gold to get on the rotation list. And Bradley passes this gold on to me. Are you sure that you see all of the gold? No, I'm not. I need to have a look at that list. This is Bradley's list of slaves. Hmm. Looks all right. I guess Bradley is cleared then. Here, for your effort. You better take this list back to Bradley right away. Hmm. Oh boy. What's the problem? You simply stole it from him, didn't you? <laughs> well, my friend, this is your problem. How should I test the loyalty of your people? No idea. Talk to them, work for them, befriend them. How you do it is not your problem. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Do you know anything about Zardis? Yes, he managed to stop the war. The way he stopped the rune magic was a good idea. He's a brilliant man. I'm glad he's not my enemy. You seem to like Zardis. That's saying a bit much, really. I know next to nothing about the Dark Mage, but I like the idea of finally ending this eternal battle between orcs and humans. Zardis seems to play the key role in this. He's got big plans for the orcs. I don't find that very reassuring. Whatever. Despite everything they say about him, even Zardis is only human after all. Where can I find Zardis? I don't know where the mage has made his home. They say only the orc shamans know his true location. As far as I know, some of the most important shamans of the orcs are in Geldern and Sildan. But I don't know all that for sure. I'm only a human. A rather unfriendly mercenary named Dominic told me to report to you. Ah, yes. He told you that? Oh, well, you're here now. About the mercenaries. That lazy bum still owes me the revenue from his farm. Tell him to give you the gold or I'll have his head, okay?
decent piece of meat. Would you teach me how to fight? I see we exterminate them. You know exactly where our problems come from. Have you come to mock me too? What's eating you? Seems like you haven't heard about my encounter. I come from the desert and was traveling through the land with my caravan. Those cursed rebel dogs ambushed me outside the city and took everything. What did you have? Valuables, rarities, luxuries, artifacts and jewelry. What misery. If at least I had my old gold casket. It is of inestimable personal value to me. Here is your old gold casket. It was still lying in the road to the west with your other stuff. You son of a dog! That is fantastic! I will richly reward you for this, my pale friend. Tell me more about your artifacts. I know what the orcs are seeking. Why they are digging throughout the land, hoping to find it. The divine artifacts of the Ancient Ones, my pale friend. And I swear to you, I held one of them in my hands. But now it is gone and out of my reach, forever. What do you know about the divine artifacts? You mean, other than the fact that the orcs are looking for them like mad? They are of inestimable value on the open market. That alone is enough. How did you get a divine artifact? Let me put it this way, my pale friend. While others perish in the sands of the desert in the sweat of their brow, I used my head. Or plainly, I was simply faster than the others. Who has the divine artifact now? Are you listening to me at all? The rebels ambushed me. If anyone knows, it is those cursed royalists. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. You look thirsty, stranger. Give me something to drink. No problem. Is there anything here besides booze? Depends on what you need. Every piece of information costs five gold coins, although we could just trade. What'll it be? Show me your goods. Tell me something about this city. Monterra is a trading city, and how could it be otherwise occupied by the orcs? But the orcs mostly stay inside the castle. The orcs mercenaries rule the outer districts of Monterra. This is the merchant quarter of the city, but don't expect too much. Since the orcs started digging up the whole city, very few merchants have found their way to Monterra. How do you get along with the mercenaries? Well, so-so. Marek is the leader of the troop. If the boys cause any trouble, Marek gives them a rap on the knuckles. Who leads the orcs in this city? His name is Varric. So far, I haven't laid eyes on him myself. Up to now, he hasn't come out of the inner castle yard. 
Is there any work to be had here? A fighter like you should join the mercenaries. That's probably best for you, and makes you a lot of gold. The real fat cats in the city, of course, are the orcs. But for that, you have to be tolerated inside the castle by the orcs. Tell me more about the excavations. Wherever there are ruins of the Ancient Ones left, the orcs dig up everything they can find. Who knows what they're looking for? I've heard that meanwhile there are excavations like this in almost every city. How can I be of assistance? Fresh water, new tools, unused torches. As long as the gold is right, I can get you anything you want, stranger. Show me what you've got. Certainly. Just tell me what you need. Show me your goods. Stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. We're watching you. What do you think of Merrick? Well, I don't know. I don't have much to do with him. I think he does his job pretty well. Long live Okara. Yeah, sure. And your little dog, too. I took care of the slaves. So I see. I'd have done it differently, but whatever. Now we need new workers here in camp in a hurry. Go tell Dennis from the stockyard outside the city that he should send me new people. Here is your slave list. What? What are you doing digging through my stuff? I ought to skin you alive. Uh, shut up. You don't want it any other way, huh? Come here, boy. You're creeping around like a thief. cause any more trouble here.
Merrick has cut your pay. I knew you'd rat me out, you scumbag. I'll remember this. So, are you going back to work again or not? Calm down. I'm going already, you lunatic! Your meeting place is clear. You're good, stranger. Now the situation isn't quite so hopeless. What about your contact in Montera? I don't know who he is exactly. All I know is that he'll give us a sign when it's time to attack. Since then, we've been waiting here like idiots. I see. What's wrong? Is this your yard? I'm the boss here, if that's what you mean. No. I see to it that the stockyard works as it should. Bradley needs new slaves. All right, just take what you can find here. Tell Bradley he shouldn't work the slaves so hard. I can barely use his people in my yard. I'm looking for work. Great, I've got something for you. My people are obviously too stupid to deal with this. Lately, a pack of stray wolves has been roaming the area. They creep up to the yard at night and eat our livestock from right under our noses. I would pay you a good deal if you could make them go away. The stray wolves have been eliminated. You mean I can relax now? Sure looks like it. That's a comforting thought. Good job. Here's your reward. You haven't come to send me back to town, have you? Forget it. I'm staying here on the farm. You're going to work in town again from now on. Oh, no, please. I, I can't bear the pain of the excavations anymore. <laughs> oh, well. Then what can you offer me? I could uh, give you some information that will help you gain favor with the mercenaries. Okay. Tell me what you've got. Listen then. Not too long ago, Dennis sent some of his people to the grain farm to cause some trouble there. No idea what it was that they did, but I'm sure they were up to no good. What? That was it? I'm sorry. That's all I know. Give me some gold and you can stay on the farm. Gold? I'm a slave. I don't have any gold. Get moving to the excavations now, or I'll drag you there. All right, all right, I'm going. What is it? I hope this will take care of itself. <laughs> I don't think I want to hear this. Man, what do you want? Everybody's got problems, including me. I hope this will take care of itself. 
What is it? Working on the farm here isn't that bad at all. Especially when I think of the poor beggars down at the excavations. You're needed at the excavations in town. Don't even say that. I can't go. Working at the excavations is the job from hell. You have no idea. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't send you. I could tell you where to find a treasure. Where is this treasure? Oh no, it's not that easy. How do I know you won't send me to work in town anyway if I tell you? So, what do you want? I want you to go to Dennis and tell him that I should stay here. Then I'll let you know where there is some treasure to be had. I will talk to Dennis. All right, I will wait. I will let the slave Kelvin stay here in the yard. Fine with me. I talked to Dennis. Are you happy now? Fine. Listen up then. Ashton the mercenary lets the other mercenaries fight in his arena in Monterra. Everybody knows they're all fighting for gold. Ashton turns the gold into his boss, but I know that most of it ends up in his own pocket. He hides his gold under a bush behind the arena so he won't be found out. How do you know about this thing with Ashton? Once when I was cleaning his rooms, I watched him hide his gold. All right, mate. Now you're going to work in the temple again anyway. Oh, please. You can't mean that. Yes, I can. You're a right bastard, you know. What is it? Are you unhappy with your pay as well? Go back to work. Slow down. I'm not one of your people. Then what do you want here? I'm busy. If I don't watch out, the slaves will take off and the boys will just hang around and be idle. It doesn't matter to you. Slaves are escaping from your farm? Yes, damn it. Go ahead and rub it in. Not enough that this Marek is constantly after me. My own people are making fun of me now. You should get your lads going somehow. Light a fire under them. Great suggestion. The only thing that could motivate them now is alcohol. We're either going to be stabbed by grain thieves or overrun by the undead from the castle to the east. Did you just say undead? If you follow the path to the east, it will take you to the old paladin stronghold. It's nothing but ruins these days, but still inhabited. If you get my drift, I wouldn't go too close to the castle if I were you. What about the rebels? The royalists are lying low in the mountains or hanging around outside of Montera. The rebels aren't a serious threat. The grain thieves up north are more cause for worry. They will come at night and steal those sacks of wheat right from under our noses. I'm halfway expecting to wake up with a slashed throat while my own people are snoring in the hay, sleeping off a hangover. I think you may need my help. Oh, damn. I have a feeling that I'm going to regret this. First, show me what you've got. Then maybe I'll think about it. I don't 
don't like it at all. Tell me about Merrick. He is an orc mercenary, just like me. Merrick is our leader here in Montera. He sees to it that everybody works and doesn't just do what they damn well want to. I'd like to know how he does that. I can't even handle the handful of people here on the farm. Dennis set your hay bales on fire. Yes, I know. That swine is mocking me, too. Let him, then. He who laughs last, laughs best. I will take care of the grain thieves. You want to do what my people haven't accomplished in weeks? Ha! Go ahead, I want to see that. Big problem. Don't you have anything to do? I could have told you that. <sighs> I don't think I want to hear this. Anything is possible. Still, can't go on with you, right? Stop right there. Ooh! <sighs> 
Nothing to be had there. Broken. 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 Stop right there.
You won't lose any more sleep over those grain thieves. Don't tell me you sent them all running. Hardly. They are dead. <laughs> Amazing! That was no mean feat. Wouldn't you like to work for me? I already did. <laughs> That's true. And not for free, either. I will pay you the money that my people were going to get. Just don't spend it all on booze. What about those stolen sacks of wheat? Take them to Montera, together with the ones here on the farm. 
The boys must be waiting for them by now. Still. 